Hello everybody. Let us understand a beautiful concept in mathematics that is variation. Now variation is nothing but comparison of two quantities. Now let us understand how does actually we use variation to compare quantities. Now suppose we go to fruit market to purchase many things, to purchase many fruits. Now many a times how it happens is while well, purchasing, you ask how much for one kg? He'll say sir, rupees 50 per kg. That means for one kg, rupees 50. Now you'll ask then how much for three kgs? 1 kg it is 50. So how much for 3 kg? Definitely say sir, rupees 150 for 3 kg because rupees 50 is for 1 kg. So basically what is happening is when there is a change in one quantity, there is also a change in other quantity. When the amount, when the weight of the fruit is increasing, the amount is also increasing. There is a change. Now this change is a sign of variation and that is what we are going to study in variation. Now let us proceed ahead. Weight, amount, suppose for 1 kg the amount is 50. So for 3 kgs the amount definitely 3 into 50 that is 150. Now let us find out the ratio. Now what is the ratio when we divide weight and amount? 1 divided by 50, the ratio is 1 upon 50. 3 divided by 150, it gets cancelled. 3 ones are and 350s are. That means both the ratios are equal. So we can say that 1 upon 50 is equal to 3 upon 150. So it is a situation where 150, 3 and 150 are in proportion. Now when do we say 1? 50, 3 and 150 are in proportion when 1 upon 50 is equal to 3 upon 150. So such a situation is called as proportion. Now let us take certain sums based on proportion. Weight 1 kg, amount 50 kg. Weight 3 kg, amount 150 kg. We studied it. Now, now the weight is increasing and amount is increasing. Now what happens is one variable increases other variable also increases, we call it as direct variation or direct proportion. We, it may be a situation of direct variation or direct proportion. When one quantity increases, the other also increases. It may be direct variation or direct proportion. Let us proceed ahead. In which of the following set are the numbers in proportion? Now there will be certain set of numbers given to us. Now we need to state whether they are in proportion or not. Now how do we know whether a given set of numbers are in proportion or not when the ratios are equal. So let us see. 28, 16, 21 and 12. The four numbers given to us are 28, 16, 21 and 12. Now what are we supposed to do is we are supposed to state whether they are in proportion or not. Now, if they are in proportion, their ratio should be equal. So, let us find out the ratios. So, the ratio of first two numbers, 28 upon 16. Now, 28 is 7 into 4. Upon 16, 16 is 4 into 4. Now, what happens is 4, 4 gets cancelled. What remains is 7 upon 4. So, the ratio of first two number is nothing but 7 upon 4. Now let us see the ratio of last two numbers that is 21 and 12. So 21 upon 12. Now 21 is 7 into 3 upon 12. 12 is 4 into 3. 3, 3 gets cancelled. What remains is 7 upon 4. Name it equation number 2. Now from 1 and 2, it is definitely clear that the ratio of 28 upon 16, the value of the ratio of 28 upon 16 is 7 upon 4. That is 7 is to 4 and 21 upon 12 is also 7 upon 4. So both the ratios are equal. So from 1 and 2 we can say that 28 upon 16 is equal to 21 upon 12. Because dono ka value humko kya mila 7 upon 4. And when the ratios are equal, such numbers are said to be in proportion. So we can say that 28, 16, 21 and 12 
are in proportion in a beautiful looking box. Let us take one more example. 12, 32, 15 and 35. The four numbers given to us. We need to state whether they are in proportion or not. Now if they are in proportion, the ratios will be equal. If they are not in proportion, the ratios won't be equal. So let us take the pair of us two. 12 upon 32. Let us see what gets cancelled. 12 is 4 into 3. 32 is 4 into 8. 4, 4 gets cancelled. What remains is 3 upon 8. 15 and 35. 15 is 3 into 5 or 5 into 3. 35 is 5 into 7. 5, 5 gets cancelled. What remains is 3 upon 7. Name it equation number 2. Now the ratio of first two number is 3 is to 8. That is 3 upon 8. And the ratio of last two number is 3 upon 7. So from 1 and 2 we can say that 12 upon 32 is not equal to 15 upon 35. Now when they are not equal, they cannot be in proportion. So 12, 32, 15 and 35 are not in proportion. Very simple one. Now children, let us take few situation. Number of students, the contribution, contribution for anything, say for some welfare fund. 5 students, 10 students, 15 students and 20 students. The contribution from 5 students was 100. From 10 students was 200 double. From 15 students was 300. From 20 students was 400. That means when the number of students are increasing, the amount of contribution is also increasing. They are having the same effect. A situation of variation. Another example. Pages read daily and number of days required to read a book. Definitely number of pages 20, 5, 10 and 15. If you read 20 pages a day, you will complete reading the book in 15 days. Now, number of pages read daily is reduced. So, number of days required will be increased 60. Increased, it gets reduced 30. Increased, it gets reduced 20. So, it is a situation where one quantity increasing and other is decreasing. The opposite effect. Here, one quantity increasing, the other is also increasing. Same effect, the corresponding effect. Such situations, both the situations where one is increasing, other is increasing, one is increasing, other is decreasing. Such situations are called as situation of variation, direct variation. Now there are two types of variation. The first one is direct variation. So let us understand what is direct variation. Observe the table. Number of pens, cost of pens, the ratio of the number of pens to their cost and definitely the simplest form of the ratios. Number of pens 4. Cost of pen is 10. The ratio of the number of pens to their cost will be 4 upon 10. When you cancel it, you simplify it, you get 2 upon 5. Now, number of pens is increased by 2, 6. Cost of pen will also be increased 15. Ratio, 6 upon 15. You cancel it, 3 twos are 3 fives are once again 2 upon 5. Now, let us increase the number of pens. 20 from 4 to 20. So, cost of pen is also increased. 50. Their ratio 20 upon 50. So definitely it is also 2 upon 5. One more example. Number of pen is 28. Cost of pen is also increased 70. Take their ratio 28 upon 70. That is once again 2 upon 5. Now if you see, when number of pen was increasing, the cost of pen also went on increasing. Situation of variation. Same effect. Chances of direct variation. But how do we confirm whether it is direct variation? Check their ratios. So very simple. When the ratio of two quantities is constant, same. When the ratio is constant and same, then the two quantities are said to have direct variation with each other. So here, number of pens and cost of pens 
are having direct variation because their ratios are constant. So when one quantity increases with an increase in other quantity and decreases with the decrease in other quantity, the ratio of the two related quantities remains constant, then it is an example of direct variation.